Jane Halifax first graced our screens 20 years ago, wow. and now the crime-fighting heroine is back. Jane? We didn't exactly bond last time we met. It's nothing personal. What are you doing in my house? You have no idea who I am. <laughs> I don't do this work anymore. Jane, you're the best there is. Remember why you left? Panic attacks. Nightmares. I don't want you going back there again. Neither do I. Oh, it looks gripping. Good. Two of our greatest ever, Rebecca Gibney, who plays Jane, and co-star Anthony Lapalia join us now. Good morning, guys. Great to see you, Rebecca. 20 years. Where have morning. they gone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've gone. They have gone. <laughs> nice to be back, though. It's so wonderful to be back. I mean, I love the crime genre and... I love Jane Halifax, the character. I mean, she she was created for me. She's strong. She's complex. She was the first forensic psychiatrist ever portrayed on television anywhere mm. in the world. So to be given the opportunity to come back 20 years later and, and revisit it, it was a gift. Mm. And how fabulous is it to be working alongside the great, the one and only Anthony LaPaglia? Oh, look, Anthony and I have worked together before. He played my nasty husband and mentor. <laughs> <laughs> and... We've got a great relationship. He is, of course, you know, the great thing about the show is because we're able to, uh, we're, it's a series now, we're able to introduce characters that go across the series and lure amazing actors like, of course, the wonderful Anthony Lapadia, who's a great oh, mate thank you. and one of Australia's best. Thank you. Anthony, how was it for you to come back? Oh, yeah. no. Didn't like, <laughs> didn't like your question. Yeah, uh, 20, 20 years ago. 20, no, no, we worked together 20 years ago, plus on Mentor. So we've done it twice before. And so when, um, you know, when I was asked to, to do it, um, of course, Rebecca was one of the big draws. And it was easy to say yes. And, I, you know, it was, it's great to work with people that you already have established a relationship with. Well, it's looking like a very nice day there in LA. You got, yeah. you got the sunnies on, um, Rebecca. Yeah. I mean, are you having? I know. I, I know, but what's underneath is more horrible. So I scratch my. I oh, know it's not. <laughs> it is. I scratch my. I scratch my eyeball, and so it's just like blood red. Oh so I, no! I, so How do you I, scratch your yeah, eyeball? Yeah, yeah. Oh, because you're a wanker. <laughs> you, know, you know, I just. I've done I that just, before. Yeah, you know. I, <laughs> Because you're how many days into quarantine? <laughs> I'm on day five now. And um, I look, you know what, I'm very lucky. I have a window that opens and I have nurses that come and check on me. And my sister um, has dropped off stuff. She's actually um, 17 floors up and she comes and stands on the footpath and waves up. Oh, waves up no. at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing hard. very well. Um, it's hard, isn't it? Anthony's done it a couple of times. So what's the hardest part of it, do you reckon, Anthony, when you come back to Oz? What, which one? Quarantine yeah. or working? <laughs> quarantine. <laughs> oh, quarantine. <laughs> um, qu uh, quar I mean, the quarantine, I actually, um, I don't really have a problem with it. I mean, it's necessary um, at this point in time. Mm. And I don't really have a problem doing it um, to come into the country. I think that it's, I think given that the pandemic is, you know, Exactly. He makes a very <laughs> salient point. Makes... Hey, Rebecca, just before we go, um, it's a, it's a time. Not to. It's a time when 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 the industry is doing it really tough um, at the moment. Um, a lot a lot of folks from every level um, of entertainment are, are mm. kind of struggling at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, hopefully production is just starting to kick back in again. But, you know, it's tough across the board for everybody. For, there's so many people that have lost their jobs, their businesses are failing. So I think really the most important thing at the moment is that we need to check in on each other, mm. on each other's mental health, because I think that's what's suffering the most. Um, mm. And, yeah, hopefully we're going to kick this thing over and we're going to get through it. Um, mm. I think it's teaching us more about compassion and kindness than anything. Yeah, yeah well, well said, yeah. I think. And uh, we might check in with you, Day 10, Rebecca, because according to Anthony, <laughs> that's when you start asking yourself questions and answering. Yeah, you start turning yeah. on yourself. Well, I, I, mean, yeah. I think it has a different effect on everybody. <laughs> I agree. Hey, thank you, Can guys. I say a happy birthday to my brother? It's my brother Patrick's birthday and I know he's watching. Oh, and I don't you get can... to see that. 
happy you can sing happy birthday, birthday, birthday for him if you like. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday, dear Patrick. Happy birthday to you. Oh, oh special oh, stuff. Oh, beautiful. Thank you to two of our greatest in Halifax birthday, Retribution. <laughs> premieres tonight on 9 at 8.40 and you can stream every single episode of Halifax FP for free on 9 now.